<sighs> okay, I'm back. And I have to say that our God is a funny God because um, I didn't expect to walk out here twice. <laughs> when my video cut off, I had to go home. Um, and I was giving you my visions and uh, dreams and things that have happened in my life. And uh, where Jesus made himself very, very real to me. But that was not what I was supposed to show you. Um, there's so much I want to say. I guess I might just have to tell you at this rapture wedding. But uh, it's been a long ride in 2020. But at the same time, I went by really quick. Because <sighs> I had my eyes on Jesus. I learned about Paul and Jeremiah and, and uh, Queen Esther. And um, he helped me to, gosh, just all of us, you know. He helped all of us. And so I don't really have to tell you anything. That's why I didn't want to make you a video. Because everybody knows our king is coming, right? Um, and uh, my heart breaks many times, just like many of you guys, for everything. You know, our lost loved ones, Mozambique, uh, Israel. Um, but I'm just going to get to it so my video don't run out. Uh, family, God put us all together. And... Um, I don't know how to explain it, but he wanted me to show you this. I, uh, I am surrounded by farmers. My boyfriend's a farmer. And over the years, I've learned so much about planting seeds and, um, and uh, just this, guys. You see this big field back here? Those are all the seeds that we have planted. on Facebook that I, I give in scripture to and try to be kind of transparent um, but because of you guys I can really be transparent and uh, um, so you see this field we have sown all these seeds all over the world and um, My name's Alicia, so I learned about Elijah and Elisha in the Bible. And uh, Elijah told Elisha that he would give him a double portion of his faith if he would watch him go into heaven. <laughs> I pray. <laughs> of reasons and uh, and um, I love everybody that I've ever been in contact with and I know that sounds really confusing because I have a boyfriend but here's the point I told God I said God I, I can't live in this pain I have babies you know um, and I really poured my heart out to him uh, in 2019 really digging into the Bible, and, um, and then he told me, <laughs> okay, I'll get it together, he said, I never left or forsaken you, and I forgave you the first time that you believed in me, and everything, and, uh,
Sisters and the ABCs of Salvation is believe uh, that Jesus died for your sins and he can make you happy. And, uh, and, it's, and, and then confess. Don't be afraid to confess it because it's such a joy to help others understand this too because then Jesus gets to live within them and section over there for God a minute family that has been planting seeds um, Chad I watched you from the beginning man and uh, we're pretty close guys so yeah I'm not afraid I'm not afraid to talk like this you know I was cautious in the beginning but uh, when Jesus told me what to do I just um, I said all right this is this is like double fun because I get to get exercise and hike out to this cool place anyways and uh, I don't know if you can see how vast this field is but it really showed me um, keep, don't give up guys just keep planting the seeds until we go okay and we will celebrate and um, I guess that's it I hope this means something to you uh, Look up into those clouds. Uh, look up for your redemption draws nigh, guys. And um, I, too, am praying for Israel and, and just every soul on this earth. I don't want you to think I'm just trying to have fun, but I get sad and I ask God. I say, God, okay, um, re-strengthen me. And, and he does. I listen to worship music and and the discord on God a minute, the family is has kept me going and I'm able to watch the sad things that are happening on the earth. I've been able to do this all year long, but um, it's the joy of heaven. It's the joy of our loved ones in heaven. And um, yeah, and if you're, if, if you're just watching this and, and you haven't given your life to Christ, just believe and, uh, yeah, Jesus is real. He is God and the Holy Spirit within you. And he died for your sins and um, love what God loves and hate evil and uh, armor up every day. You know, some days are a battle and you'll have tribulation, God says. But uh, what does it take heart? He has overcome. He has won. So, family, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's that point of well done, good and faithful servants, you know, Christ living in us, we would do mighty things. So, that's thousands of seeds that are in the ground right now, and uh, let me tell you, they're beautiful when they come up. There's nothing more beautiful than wheat uh, and the sunshine or corn that is strong and um, I just yeah I'm gonna stop it there because I could go on so amongst the darkness be the light okay um, and if, if if you're getting overwhelmed I recommend you just um, Maybe listen to a worship song. They always help me. You know, the Psalms. Um, one of the first ones was Psalms 141 that I learned um, before I knew Jesus was as mighty as he was. And it was, uh, Lord, I call out to you to come quickly to help me. Lord, to listen to me as I call out to you. And may my prayer come to you like the sweet smell of an incense. I made it a song, that's how I memorized it like that.
Maybe I'll show you in heaven one day. Tomorrow. This evening. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but okay, that's it. That's it. Good job, guys. Amen. Have a good day.